、サスケーナルトラッセンガン !It's ラッセンガン ?Oh, sorry. <笑>ラッセンガン I don't want to play anymore. No.、Oh, come on. What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Oraculus, and I brought my friend, resident Naruto expert. More fanatic than expert, but hi, my name is Mike. Hello, Mike. How are you? Good, good. How about you? Yep, I totally said Rasengan, right? So, anyway, let's move on from that. It's Rasengan? No, it's Rasengan. Rasengan? That's how I All right, anyway, today we're going to be reviewing the SH Figure Arts Naruto Uzumaki. Did I say that right?、Uzumaki. Yeah, you actually did.、Right. The number one most unpredictable ninja. This is AKA Kid Naruto. And if you're looking to get him, where can you get him, Mike? At dstartoys.com. That's right, you can get them at www.dstartoys.com. Awesome action figures, like all reviews. I'm going to tell you how I feel right off the bat. So it's Mike. And then we're going to go into paint and detail, articulation and scale, and accessories. And of course, he's here to correct me on everything that I get wrong about the anime. I've only watched 25 episodes. I'm sorry, Mike.、And、I'm sorry for everyone out there. Unexpected, because again, it was a Beautiful, beautiful story. The,、yes. the animation was amazing. Like, you basically got to the Zabuzar and you're like, I'm done. Close. I'm sorry. 25 episodes, that's all I can. And then I got other stuff to do. Anyway, let's talk about this figure. I think, and Mike, and Mike agrees, this is a pretty darn cool figure. For the price point of under $40, you really can't beat this. He has all the articulation points that you need. He looks really good. In fact, I dare to say, He looks better than the new shipping in version. Do you agree, Mike? I actually do agree. Yeah, yeah. Like, just by the paint differences and oh my God, just、yeah. how beautiful and accurate he, he does look like the anime. Yeah, this is a really good figure. I really like it.、Uh, not too many negatives. We do have to talk about a little bit of a negative, and it's this, which we will go over in the conclusion. What is that? Uh, <laughs> the monkey, monkey toes. Monkey toes effect.、Uh, yeah, and all the,、sure. other, all the other SH figure arts don't really have that, right? Yeah. But anyway, that's how I feel about it.、Uh, if you want to get him, go for it. He's worth the money, especially for the price point. Now we can go into paint and detail. And let's talk about paint and detail, shall we? So, first, let me ask Mike when you first opened this, what did you think of this figure? Let's look real close here. What do you think? What、so、are you talking about the face? I, I really like the face. Looks really good. Detail on it, it's amazing. The paint is really, really good. I do like how his whiskers are a little bit more dominant than I had one of the original、uh, Viz Media Naruto figures that came out like in the early 2000s. And his whiskers weren't as dominant on that figure, but this one, it just pops. It looks really nice. It's super clear. Yeah. Yeah, the eyes and everything. It just. It looks like he popped right out of the anime.、Uh, looks really good. And the hair also has a matte finish on the blonde hair. I really like what they did there. Not shiny. I love that,、um, that blonde matte finish right there. Also, his outfit, right, Mike? Looks really good. The collar, really stiff, not flexible at all. So it looks really solid right there. And of course, the orange, blue, and everything like that.、It、looks very, very good. No issues here with the paint and detail.、Um, let, let's talk about it. Sure, we're gonna go into articulation and scale. And let's just get this out of the way before we even take out the ruler, before we compare him with anyone else. What happened here?、Hmm? What happened? Well, what do you think happened, Mike? <laughs> this, I... this is just not cool. I don't know. I, I don't like it.、Uh, like, why did they do that? I am not a fan at all of why or what was the decision on this, given it's almost like a monkey grip on it. What's、yeah. a little bit worse is. Again, just no effort at all. It's super easy just、yeah. to like.、Uh. Yeah, no effort at all.、Um, look how easy this is to bend over. And if you're wondering, well, do the other figures do that? Probably. And as the box falls, we'll see here with the Shippuden in Naruto, no. And if we even take out Gohan from、uh, Dragon Ball Super Hero, he doesn't do that either. So that is a big issue. I think they kind of just skipped out on the QC on that one. I am not a fan of it. 
and that is my biggest issue with this figure. But besides that, let's see how he is when it comes to articulation and scale. Let's take out the ruler right here. He's a kid, so he shouldn't be super tall. He is under five and a half inches. I would have to say five and a quarter. What do you think, Mike? I agree with that. Yeah, okay, five and a quarter right there. And now let's take out, he was already here, the Shippuden, new one, Naruto. So there he is in terms of comparative scale. Can you pass me a Marvel Legends, please? Deadpool. Mr. Pool right here. Here's Marvel Legends. If you want him to multiverse into the Naruto world, you can. What do you think? I think that works. Yeah, I think that works. And sure, why not? I have him here. No, let's bring this guy out. I don't know why. I just felt like it. Let's here, add the Kai version. It's, let's, no, this is, is this the Kai? No, this is uh, Bring Arts. Ah. Yeah, this is the Bring Arts Kingdom Hearts Cloud Strife, one of my favorite figures. And as you can see, Bring Arts, Marvel Legends, SH Figure Arts, it looks like it works really well. We also have uh, Kid Sasuke, bring him out please. And here he is, how he stands. Would you say this is accurate? Uh, this is very accurate to the anime, as Sasuke was a little bit taller than Naruto. Yeah, okay. So there you have it, that's how it is when it comes to scale. Now, let's talk about articulation again. There's that toe joint. I think I've talked about that enough. And we have a really cool curve right here. And something I don't really see in a lot of action figures is how deep this curve is on the ankle. Let's see if we can get a little bit more. And what this allows is more of a look at that. Oh. That's actually really cool, huh? Not, not that he would do that. <laughs> more or less, he should be doing this. This is how to do a proper side kick right there right so that, that looks very true ooh, that is very nice i really like what they did there Give so that's a nice really cool swivel and look at this we do have a swivel right here at the ankle as well double jointed knee we have a swivel right here at the thigh and don't forget that version three crotch joint right there and then we have uh what's going on here with this muffin top <laughs> uh but we do have two articulation a points right here yeah belly belt and it does twist and turn and uh so we have shoulder joints right here for the butterfly don't forget a bicep swivel double jointed elbow right there uh what is what is this honestly that's a feature in his jacket i have no idea all i know is that's his clan symbol in the silver well, then, well, but what's I, this hanging thing i don't know it kind of gets in the way a little bit yeah, a little bit. So when you when you turn the bicep, I notice it kind of goes like that, but I guess it's not too big of a deal. But anyway, we have a double jointed elbow, as I was saying. We do have a wrist peg right here, two at the neck, looking to be well above 20 points of articulation. So let's get him in a reset, reset, Rasengan. 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 Rasengan pose. And there we have him in his Rasengan pose. Rasengan. 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 <laughs> Rasengan. And then we have him in the side kick. Of course, we have the front kick, flying knee. Of course, we're going to go into the Shoryuken. And of course, to activate all the joints, we need to do a superhero landing pose. Superhero <laughs> landing pose. And let's just decap Kid Naruto. <laughs> and he does it pretty well. My issue always is can they look up all the way? And very few figures can actually do that. So let's zoom here and let's look here. So that is as close as we're going to get to a superhero landing pose. Uh, what do you think, Mike, so far in the articulation? Uh, it will. It looks amazing. It's pretty good. I will say if, once you put him in his QB form, uh, you are able to see a little bit more. Okay. All right. I don't know what that form is. <laughs> yeah. Watch the anime. I don't know. Anyway, oh, you know what? I'm starting to see why they did this. Check this out, Mike. So now that I put him in this pose, look how it forms to the uh, the the ground here when you push this back. Oh. And I guess that's kind of what they were going for. 
Will we see this in future releases of SH Figure Arts? Only time will tell. So let's move on. Speaking of time, let's see how accessories are. Let's go to the top cam here and let's look right here. This is the box. Beautiful, beautiful box right here. And let's see if he has what all the Dragon Ball ones were starting to have was, I think they had like instructions in the flap. <gasps> no, we just have regular instructions. I like the instructions in the flap. That means I don't have to worry about this. Anyway, here's the box. Just want to show that off. Here, give passes to Mike and the instructions. And now let's look at all the beautiful accessories here. We get four That's extra faces. I guess we get two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven extra hands, and Rasengan. 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 Ah! And the hand fell. I know. I got it. I got it. And here's all the stuff. Now let's go to the front cam. And let's do a face swap. This is what we always do here. Let's take off the head. Sure, why not? Let's just do that. Makes it easier. Here's the neutral one. And we get the classic angry Naruto, you stole my ramen face, which is really cool. I don't think that ever happens in the anime, but that's what I think when I see that face. <laughs> and there you have it. Ooh, that looks, wow. That actually looks really yeah, that's, good. Yeah, that's dope. I think all of their all of his faces just looks really really good with the yeah. Figure. Like, holy look crap. at that! That's nice. And let's take that off. And let's look at the um, his QB form. QB form, which, and we can't have the QB form unless we have his claws, right? Hell yeah! Oh my god! Look at that! Look at this! Look at this. That is... Look at this, guys. It's beautiful. For the under $40 price tag, you really can't beat this. Um, I, I can't even think of what else he could come with to make it even more complete. And I really like that. And let's get the... Rasengan hand. <laughs> I'm doing it so people will comment. But I actually don't... I can always say it wrong, don't I? Uh... <laughs> Every Naruto fan's like, I hate you, D-Star. Anyway, look at that. This is like thumbnail right there. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is absolutely wonderful. Uh, one thing I want to see is if you could put the kid face on the Shippuden face. <gasps> what? Oh. What? Okay. Uh, it's a little bit wide, but it sort of <laughs> works. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, look at that. They took a little a, a far photo. You save yourself a little of uh, whoa, little bit of cash. Right ah, there. and whoa. it falls off. But it it isn't a, a great fit, but it will work with some uh, finagling, I guess. Well, wow, I I just I'm really impressed at this look. It it's fantastic. For the again for the price point, I kind of just wish that all the all the Naruto figures came like this. Um, once again, here it is without the body. Looking really good. Now, let's, uh, let's move <laughs> no on. Body. No body. Let's look at the kind of happy, cheery face right here. This looks good right there. Let's put it on. His uh, motivational face. Yeah, even right though before he... Before he... he uh, oh, look at that. Before he or what? <laughs> before he hits uh, almost every bad guy he ever meets with Rasengan. Yeah, he, he uses this face. This little cocky smile. And he's <laughs> like, yeah, I'm about to hit you, boy. Yeah, I like that one. That That's good. Even though he shouldn't have these nails, I think it looks really cool. Yeah. Okay, last face. We're going to do a yelling face right here. And, of course, all the other hands we're going to look at at the end of the video. And, of course, we're going to look at the Rasengan uh, effect. Yeah. I you said it, it right? It. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Only took a whole video, actually several Naruto fig uh, figures to get it through to finally for me to say it right. So there's the young face. Now let's look at this. So there is a peg at the end right there and it will go into a specific hand. So this is the one with the slot in it and it only fits one way and boom right there. Looks really solid. Does not come out that easily. Uh, the next figure we're going to do is Sasuke and his Chidori. Shidori. Shidori, Shidori effect is uh, has much to be desired. So, oh wait, hold hold on, hold on, hold on. Kunai, almost forgot the kunai. Did I say that right? Which in this figure they only gave us one kunai, and the other Naruto they gave us two. So that was interesting. 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 So 
the top part does come off and he holds it from the bottom right if i remember correctly like this there we go there we go okay and then we put that little there. snug but oh that is pretty good super snug that is the most snug i've ever had any accessory whoa that's not a bad thing it's just wow and there you have it you know what? let's get the claw hand out and let's put uh this one just because i think it looks cool oh there we go yeah he's look at that his jutsu yeah right? his jutsu. His famous shadow clone yeah look at that all right, let's stand him up and let's come up with a conclusion of the SH Figure Arts Naruto as he falls over. <laughs> All right, Mike, final thoughts. Uh, let's come up with some negatives. What do you think are the negatives? The main negative, and we already brought this up so many times, yeah. is unfortunately the the monkey grip toes. I don't know why I don't like that. Now, let me know down in the comments down below. Do you guys think this is okay? Me personally, I don't know. Uh, just to do one pose? I don't think so. I don't I mean, think so. <laughs> it's really loose too. It's the loosest thing on this figure and that's that's not cool. Yeah. It is not. No, it is not. And but besides that, so many negatives. One, let's talk about the price. $34.99 is his retail. Fantastic price for all you get. He looks really good. Paint detail, fantastic. No issues there. No mess ups here. No QC really. Uh, QC issues here and he, he's just great for the price point. Oh, man I can't ask for anything else or anything more from this classic character and he comes with everything you need including a Rasengan Ball, oh my god. You yeah, got I it. got it. Yeah, that's right. So uh, final thoughts from Mike It is an amazing figure especially for his price the color everything is just magnificent magnificent yeah chef's kiss mm. to the distributor fantastic i we just kind of hope that they would all come at this price point but unfortunately that's not the case so anyway that's all that we have for you today thank you for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when i post new videos and last but not least where can you get this toy at mike at www.dstartoys.com that's right you can get this at www.dstartoys.com we want to some awesome action figures thanks for watching and we will see you guys next time peace So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.